Hello, what is up? This is uh, Vard Kokadam and uh, my name is uh, Wana Mike. In this video, we are going to look at uh, our genetics um, from 2019 paper 2, uh, Biology Internal Grade 12. So, this is uh, genetics uh, question 5. So, it is always in question 5. So, if you are new to my channel, please make sure that you do subscribe to my channel for more information uh, so that you never miss any update. So we are looking at uh, this question which says uh, a young girl had multiple sexual partners consisting of the following a fellow young boy, a businessman and a public worker. Suggest um, uh, A1, sorry, A1, A Roman numeral 1, briefly, uh, briefly explain two risks the girl may have had from the multiple sexual uh, partners. Okay, so we are looking at uh, when one person, like a girl, is having um, multiple sexual partners. I mean, uh, sexual, uh, yeah, sexual partners uh, relations. So, what could be some of the risks that we need to understand? Okay, so we can think of this uh, in terms of um, the first uh, risk is just uh, saying that. Uh, this key one we can think of it as a so so this one you can just say contracting contracting of STIs okay so sexual uh, transmitted infections or STIs so just say having this there is uh, there is there is a likelihood so likelihood likelihood of contracting contracting um, STIs okay STIs because 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 each each partner each partner because each partner may may have may have or may have so each new partner may have or likely to present present um present or can lead to infectious Okay, so each partner, uh, the possibility of STI, so you say likelihood of contracting STI because each partner may have or likely to present or can lead to infections like HIV and AIDS. Okay, so that could be risk, uh, risk number, risk one, and uh, risk two. We can just say uh, genetic diversity. Okay, genetic diversity. So, meaning there is there is a possibility 
possibility so there is a possibility of genetical disorder like so like mutation okay like mutations so gene or chromosome Okay, so these are some of the risks, okay, contraction of STIs and then also risk of uh, genetic diversity, I uh, mean there is a possibility of genetic disorder, genetic disorder like uh, mutations, e.g. gene or chromosome mutation, okay, and then number two, uh, I mean uh, Roman numeral 2 on A, we are looking at identify one sexual behavior that can help the young girl achieve or set goal in education. So on this one, you can just look at um, so by 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 choosing to abstain okay by choosing to abstain from sexual sexual activity okay by choosing to abstain from sexual activity okay so this will allow the girl to also focus uh, maybe on education and also the time and also just uh, the energy and then we move on to um, B which says uh, suggest one best contraceptive method the girl could have been using to protect herself okay so best uh, contraceptive method the girl could have been using to protect herself Okay, so on this one, you can just say the, you can just talk about uh, the I, U, D. Okay, so this I, U, D is just the intra, intra uterine. Uh, device okay so this is normally inserted into uh, the uterus and then it's going it's kind of a going to uh, block okay um, it, it can actually even go up to uh, five years ten years okay without uh, even just interfering okay so this could be one of the best uh, method okay so it's more like a, a, a t kind of a shape device okay and then now on c see if the sexual partners are the following blood groups okay so we are looking at a young girl who is in blood group o young boy blood group b a businessman blood group a b public worker blood group b now c1 suggest the sexual partner who who would have been responsible for the pregnancy if the young girl had a child with if the young girl had a child with uh, uh if the young girl had a child with a blood group a so suggest the sexual partner um, who could be responsible so on this one what you need to understand is um, so when you look at um, this one okay 
uh, we are looking at uh, in terms of uh, So we are looking at this one. Young girl blood group O. So O can only be blood group. The possible alleles can only be O O. Young uh, boy blood group uh, B. So this can be B O or B B. Okay. Uh, business uh, man blood group A B. So this one can be. A B A comma so for this one a uh, business so for businessman the possibility will be um blood group A and B then also a B so these are the possibility now the fact that uh, the girl had a child is a so we look at the possibility so for businessman there is a possibility that uh, he's got the a there so the child could be uh, for this business uh, man okay so the answer there on question c1 so c1 okay so the sexual partner responsible is just a businessman okay now on two on two now they are saying use a genetic diagram to explain your answer in c1 above okay so when you are, we are you are looking at in terms of uh, blood groups in terms of blood groups what you normally do is uh, you start with uh, the parents that are involved so the parents is uh, the business okay businessman as well as young girl so as well as young girl then from there now you have what is called the phenotype the phenotypes are uh, these are now the actual representation of a blood group so blood group a phenotypes like uh, the representation the observation and then this one is going to be in blood I mean group so blood group uh, O okay and then we also have what is called the genotype so the genotype so the possibility the genetic makeup of blood group a is just to use this i mean uh for businessman it is a b so a b so this is going to be okay and then this one is going to be just i o o so when you're using the blood group you can just use these uh representation of i okay and then now you're going to have what is called the gametes okay so the the gametes are like uh, for the the male garment the sperms and uh, the female oh my god so this is going to be this then this will be i o then this will be also i o then now you can start crossing crossing over now so this will start that one so you're going to have i a and i o 
in this one also strike that one going to have i a i o and then this one it's going to strike that one we have i b i o then this one with that one so this is i b i o okay so now what you get is uh what is happening right here is also referred to as fertilization so fertilization and then also these outcomes you normally i can call them f1 genotype genotypes and then you can now have the phenotype so the phenotypes so the phenotypes like this is going to be blood group just a blood group b blood group b blood group a so the o is normally uh, considered to be recessive that is the reason why we are not including the o okay and then you can also include what is called the ratio okay so how many a do we have one two so it is two to the ratio how many blood group b to two so two blood groups so we have that so this is how simply you can actually use a genetic diagram to actually you know um answer the c1 question about the businessman being the one responsible for the for the child or for the pregnancy and of course uh, the idea of blood group a because of this a okay so thank you so much for watching and uh it's bye bye we'll see you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe like and share this video thank you so much